go. Jesus! Yeah! <laughs> 
I guess this is how it ended for this zone. Well, every battle's got a losing side. What if they have families? Everyone has a family. Best not to dwell on it. How can you not? Yeah, come here, Ellie. Okay. <clears throat> come on. There you go. there. Hey, there's another one.
Busters are everywhere. I saw this right before the outbreak. He did? Does he totally gutter by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a it's a dumb teen movie. Who dragged you to see it then? I don't know. Let's just stay focused, all right? All right. Yo, why is he Joe? What's up, Joe? Oh, uh, marami nagla live stream ngayon nito eh, so joining the club. <laughs> so, thank you for uh, no, pag visit sa live stream. Sorry, just keep your head down. Medyo malayo na rin yata to. Or better ata, halfway na. Halfway na yata ako ng story. Papunta na ako sa bridge eh. Joe Kevin Mallory has shared the stream. Thank you for sharing my stream. Shout out to Joe. Oh, most likely nga, halfway na yata. And, tinatry ko pa rin mag... Conserve ng amo dito yung stealth approach para medyo tipid sa ano sa amo yun thank you sa pag share and then baka ano na din baka makita na nandiyan dito yung brother niya ni Joel parang naalala ko itong eksenang ito hmm. shout out to boss herbs the next level play <laughs> the next level play with stealth gameplay <laughs> oh well kanina pala um, nag start na rin ako mag live nito It happens na hindi ko ata na check yung sound so roughly para mga 30 minutes ata akong nag-progress sa game na walang sound. Upon checking sa OBS naka-default kasi yung settings ko. So, hindi ko na check na. Kaya ayun. Para meron na akong stream dito na ano ata. Yung, yung start na stream ko kanina na ano siya walang sound so baka ano ko na lang i-cut ko na lang yung portion na yun and then i-re-upload ko na lang dito sa page yes uh, thank you for verifying boss herbs okay na yung audio thank you thank you for verifying ako nga Joe um May instances naman na ano na yung sound ay distorted naman. So parang gista static. So yun. Well na figure out ko naman yung cause. Parang kahapon na tayo, nag live stream din ako yesterday nito. Yung mga kalabon. And parang naka-spend ata ako ng 8 hours sa game na to. So yun, sayang nga kasi ano, may distorted sound. Yesterday yun. So ano din? Um, may shotgun daw. So upon checking din naman dito sa ano, sa improvement ng vis visuals niya. 
So, well, worth it naman. Towards sa, ano, uh, everything. Sa, ano, changes ng facial expressions. Mga ganun, ng characters. And, yung mga surroundings din maganda. And, yun yung kalaban. Stealth natin yung kalaban dun. Flashlight tayo. Pero, alam ko na alert ata din yung tao pag, ano eh, flashlight. Yung puputa dito. So, yun bali. Iya. Medyo, ano na rin ngayon. Goods na rin yung boat. Um, audio ng game, tsaka yung uh, signal and quality ng bosses ko. <laughs> Ayan nga eh. So, yun shout out. Shoutout sa aking current viewers. Thank you for watching. Salamat. Ah, hindi pala ako nakapag on cam ngayon, no? Um, no kasi, medyo may konting kalat lang. Kailangan na ng konting arrangement para medyo maganda yung background natin. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yung mga ano ko ata, yung mga dat, yung mga previous kong lives, nang ano may webcam ako. Ah. Uh, well, towards sa, sa gore boss, jo ano siya. Medyo mas tumami lang yung ano, yung parang uh, spill ng blood na uh, ganun. O oh, para mas ano yung realistic Yun yung napansin ko din kapag ka ah uh, ano niya inuuntog ni Joel yung kalaban na tao sa ano sa pader most likely ganun yung eksena. Okay, may stealth natin siya dito. Ah, saan din tayo matitek nitong isa? Okay. Ano ba yun? Ay, ito. Yung sasakyan. Ah, Naaarala ko ito, ha. Yung sasakyan na lang yung problema. Uy. Ano yun? Um... Ako sa part 2. Kaya nga eh. Well, sana yung next project ni Naughty Dog. Mag-continue sila sa kwento nitong The Last of Us. Anyways, okay lang na different na yung vida. Pero within the uh, timeline or universe na merong ito nga post apocalyptic din na ano after the in, ano infection ng mga ano Sana nga maiisip nga nilang gawan ng part 3 If ever man na ano na different yung vida sa part 3 ng Last of Us Ah, uh, baka merong appearance or mas kami appearance yung mga old characters like itong sila, ano, Ellie, ganun. Or yun nga si Abby. Observe ko lang medyo maraming haters kay Abby kasi. <laughs> Pero kung i-open mind mo siya, di ba? Meron siyang sariling reason kung bakit. Well, yun yung kwento sa ano, part 2. Ano nga palang gagawin dito sa part na to? So, yun. Thank you for checking my live stream. And sa pag-verify ng... Audio. Maraming salamat. Nga kami na ko dyan. Hindi. 
Second one to run. Panis. Ayan yung ano, oh. Yung connector ng power. Yan. Hindi pa to ano yun. Ano nga pala ng panda dito yung gagawin? Hindi pa yun sa camera. Ah, medyo messy yung room eh. Kailangan mo na ayusin ng konti. Pagka ano na, meron na tayo mga ano. Balik araw mo po. Umulan, sabay ang araw. Balik nga. Si Lola mo, kamusta? Tulog? Okay. Ha? Okay, sige. So, ayun. If ever man na um, hindi to pa kayo, Joe, feel free to drop lang ng comment. Ma-address ko yan. <laughs> Yun nga. Uh, I was thinking kung ano nga ba yung gagawin dito. I forgot na eh. Mm-hmm. Kailangan nga ito tayo magpakita dito. Hmm. Cross the street by using cars as cover from the tarot top. Okay. Check muna natin, baka meron dito mga ano Something useful or artifacts Parang wala naman Ayun si Joe <laughs> Cross the streets by using cars as cover. Buti na lang. O nga pala nagbibigay din ng hint pag na-stack up pa dito sa game. Alamuta ko na yung part na to. Kala ko kasi yun. Parang dati na-recall ko. Pinagbabat ko ng molotov yung sasakyan. Ang nasa nubusan ako ng ano. Ng mga munitions. <laughs> Ito lang pala gagawin. Okay. Oi, siapa pernah tak pasion? Kalau apa aku nak asal lubung tu lah. Out. Hindi na tagagana stealth natin dito. Suburin na natin 'to na sarapan. Let's go. Mm. 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 Ay, sumusunod nga pala 'yun. Oh. <laughs> Hindi nga pala tumatalan itong karakter, naisip po tumalun eh. Wala na ba, dead end na tayo. Dito, dito, dito. Okay, akit. Si Ellie nakasunod. Naku, nawala na si Ellie. Ayun, sumusunod. Uy! Here. Nauusi-usi din ako sa Ravnix. Baka kasi may useful item or artifacts. Or safe codes. 
Pero sa situation na to, mukhang hindi yata nilaga, nilagay. Or baka meron, siguro. Let's check it out. Here. Ano nga? Ah, so full yung aking yan. Sana mo rin i-platinum to, Joe. Parang interested din siyang i-plat, no? Most, mostly kasi collectibles lang ata yung ano niya. Hey! Sasakyan. Kumakas na yung sasakyan. Ah... Uh, huh. Pwede ba dito? Diyan natin. Ah, okay. Pero sabi nila, madali na na raw siyang i-plot. Ah. Yes, adulting mode talaga. mga changes na when you enter the adult talaga there are so many changes sa life way. but still um na enjoy pa rin naman natin yung mga ano natin hobbies hindi natin nakakalimutan especially pagka stress time May oras pa talaga mas stress no. <laughs> Especially pag may stress. Talagang kailangan natin ng ano. Ma malibang para ma-ease yung stress. Well, na ilan na ba yung aking ano? 15. Listen mo distance na lang siguro. Feeling speed. Okay. Kulang pa. Baka may mga safe codes dito. Nilagyan na nila ng safe codes. Hindi ko ma-recall kung merong safe codes sa original game ng Last of Us. Pero dito naka-encounter ako ng safe codes eh. Parang wala atang safe codes sa part. Sa original. Wala walang useful. Hmm. Bababa na. Bababa na ba? Ayaw. Taas kasi. Hey, saan na ba tayo pupunta dito? Ayaw. Papunta na ang bridge dito eh. Oh, yi oh nga yung ano. Sa safe codes yung sa pag yung para ano niya. Yung tunog niya. Pag improve din yung sound ng game eh. Ah, oh. Nagkaroon na siya ng support sa 3D. Mga ganun tapos may mga ano din pala din dito na observe ko para may mga secret dialogues din pala. Pag nadag nadagdag ng dialogues May times kasi dito na parang uh, may magpa-prop triangle sa character. So, pag in-approach mo siya, meron siyang mga ano, dialogues na i-bring up. So, yun parang wala yung part 1. Ah, oh, sorry. Original. Kung dito, wala naman ng babaan dito. Uh, ayun naman bumaba na mag-isip tayo kung saan tayo pumunta dito eventually kailangan ko balas na nalaro to na nalaro ko to way back 2 years ago yung original yun so Yung ibang mga ano dito, naalala ko pa, pero yung iba, 
Medyo ano na rin. Hindi na. <laughs> Sabi dito, shimmy. So, tapos na ako mag-shimmy. Shimmy the window. I've already done the shimmy. Hmm. Baka sa kabilang window. Pero hindi na, wala nang interaction dito. Ah. Hindi na maka-forward X. Uy. Dito daw. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. <laughs> Dito pala. <laughs> We're okay. They can't see us. Ayun, yung may mga ano din, may mga ano dito na nakalimutan ko na. Ah, naalala ko lang tong truck na to. <laughs> Nung time na nalaro ko siya, binabatuan ko ng ano. Uy, eto na yata sila. Henry and Sam. Take it easy. It's all right. They're not the bad guys. Lower the gun. Man, you hit hard. Yeah, well, I was trying to kill you. Yeah, I thought you were one of them, too. Then I saw you. If you haven't noticed, they don't keep kids around. Survival of the fittest. You're bleeding. That's nah, just nothing. I'm Henry. This is Sam. I think I caught your name was Joel. Ellie. How many are with you? They're all dead. Hey, we don't know that. There were a bunch of us. Someone had the brilliant idea of entering the city, look for supplies. Those fuckers they ambushed us, <clears throat> scattered us. Now it's all about getting out of this shithole. We can help each other. Ellie. Safety and numbers and all that. She's right. We could help each other. We got a hideout not too far from here. Be safer if we chat there. All right, take us there. Follow me. Yung Sorry about the whole. Itsura nila Henry and Sam na bago din yung nung pinanood ko yung trailer. Where are you from? All the way from Hartford. Really? I heard some bad stuff going well, on down there. Malungkot lang talaga. Tragic lang talaga yung nangyari sa mga kapatid na to. Ah, uh, malungkot nga. Oh, what's this? Wala. Wala lang pala. Kalok meron. Yun. We gotta be careful. We're right next to one of their lookout areas. Maganda yung ano, yung... Uh, character ano design nila Henry and Sam din yung ito itong bago ano in-improve nito ah molotov yun weapon parts Ah, baka meron na akong dapat i-craft. Yung shift medyo tinitipid ko. Pero may times na ano, na talagang no choice. Especially pagka-clickers yung kalabang mo na nakaka-one hit sa'yo. Lalo na, lalo na pagka-panic mode din. Nitipid ko, nitipid ko yung shifts. Kasi may mga doors na ano dito. Kailangan na yung shifts. Wala. Isan talaga ang hirap talagang tipirin pagka nandiyan yung mga clickers. Nakapanik yung mga clickers eh. Baka one hit kasi. Sa mga ganitong settings, yung mga post-apocalyptic. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Actually, ano naman? Ito, ito wala shields. Ya, yeah, boleh memang ship style. Sobrang hirap talaga mabuhay ng ganitong post apocalyptic. Everything is abandoned na, tapos parang ano na dito. Endurance survive talaga. Oh, hey, nakahanap tayo ng ano. Found another one of them comics you've been reading. Comic book. Yun. Listening mode na lang muna. Baka makahelp sa... Mga clickers pag maka-encounter tayo. Nakapanik kasi yung clickers eh. <laughs> For me. <laughs> eh, mga runners sa mga cleaners. Hindi ma... Ayun, hindi. Kayang-kaya pa yun. Saan na yung mag-brother? Saan dito nga pala sa labas? Mumaba na sila. O, oh, meron sa taas. Kasi na-uzi din ako mag-check. Hindi ko muna pinupuntahan yung objective. Ah... Uh, Siyempre, di ba? May mga ano din dito. Rediscover. Dito ba kami galing? Bakit hindi naman? Bisa hindi rin ako mata... Oo, oh, dito nga. Ito yung elepante. Bisa hindi rin ako matandahin sa... Sa ano? Sa mga pinupuntahan ko, may sometimes gano'n naliligaw ako. Ayan, naligaw na tayo. Ayan, hindi. Yung tara. Let's go na. So, yun. Um, Nag-isip ako ng next na ilalivestream ko. Maybe... God of War Ragnarok ata sa November 9. Ma, yun. Yun yung parang next target ko na i-live stream. Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. Get away from the windows. So shout out to my current viewers and sa mga bagong dating din. Thank you for watching. What's the rule about taking stuff? It weighs like nothing. The rule. What is it? We only take what we have. Oh, may ligaw pala si Samsa Toys. How far is this place? We're close. Real close. Ano ata ito? Parang... Toy shop? Ganun? <laughs> oh, yan. Okay. Let's go. Hunters. Hunters. Shit. Ellie. You watch her back. What'd you find? Say nothing. Stay with her. Looks like okay. someone was up there, but they're long gone. So where are the others? They wanted to give it another once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All All right. Right. Keep an eye out over there. I'll check this area. Ito, mga oh, pwede itong isa. Ay, wag, wag, wag. Muna. Katingin yung isa, ito siguro. Ah, uh, ito muna, siguro. Yung nasa right. Eh, 
Hello sa mga current viewers ko. What's up sa inyo? Teka, teka. Teka, teka. Wait, 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 wait. Baka gumalaw na yung isa. Na-alert eh. Nasa left. O, punta ka dito. Yung nasa right na kalaman, punta ka sa akin. I got nothing over this way. Me either. Aha. Ano yun? Okay, malayo na. Sugurin na natin yung nasa left. Tatlo ata ito yun, sa isa na lang Tatlo nga lang sila Shout out to my current viewers. Try ko ba mag-open ng camera? Pag pumalo ng 10 viewers to, open ako camera. <laughs> Gusto ko sana yung ano eh, yung... Yung, ano ba yung, ano, sa camera, yung transparent yung likod. Kaso kailangan yata ng purti ng color green. O oh, kailangan mag-setup ng ganyan. Para transparent yung background mo sa likod. Sana nga ba tayo pupunta dito? Where are you, Ellie? Oh, dito yata. Hindi oh, mo kami galing. Oh, hindi. Ito sa loob. Dapa ko na-encounter na ano, safe codes, ha? Ah, ito nga pala yung toy shop. Ah, baka dito. Hmm. Ano ba sila Henry at Sam? Pwede yung sumampa dito. Nandito pala sila. <laughs> Shit. More guys up there. Laban pa rin. Look at. Hmm. Dalawa pa. Wala tayong pang-destruct. animation ni Nino, mabilis yung alertness ng mga kalaban din. Yun din yung nag-improve. Ayun, no? Ano makukuli? Uy! Uli tayo dyan. What? Hell, I know you heard that. It came from over there. Huh? Over there. I saw something. Yeah, what the hell was that? What was it? I don't know. There's nothing here. Oh, 
Somebody over here. You? Yeah, same! Au point de la peine quoi You were gonna pay for that Oops, all right. Dala ko lang naman na ata sila Through the store. You sure it's safe being so close to them? I'm the only one with the key, man. And where'd you get that? I killed one of them. He won't miss it now. Everybody through. He's back here. So, how old are you? Me? Fourteen. How old are you? Uh, the same? Oh, you're fourteen, huh? I'm close. <laughs> All right. I am. Here we are. Welcome to my office. How long have you guys been holed up in here? A few days. We found a bit of food, though. Here. Blueberries. Found a whole stash of them. You want some? No. Hey man, relax. We're safe. So why haven't you left? Been waiting for the right opportunity. And? Here. Check this out. Look at these sons of bitches. Every day they congregate down there, guarding that damn bridge. Come nighttime, it's down to a skeleton crew. After sunset, that's our window. Most of them gone, sneak right past them. That could work. No, oh, it'll work. It'll definitely work. <laughs> wow. All right, ready? Oh. Ow! <laughs> a blueberry hurt you? It's been a while since that boy even cracked a smile. She doesn't seem bothered by all this. So where were you heading? I heard the Fireflies are based in the west somewhere. We're gonna join up with them. Yeah. Something funny? Oh, it just seems like there's a lot of people putting their stock on the Fireflies these days. Yeah, maybe there's a reason for that. So 
You don't know where they are, and you're just gonna drag him across the country to find them? I tell you what, how about I worry about my brother, you worry about your girl. Easy. We're looking for the fireflies, too. This is us. There's an abandoned military radio station just outside the city. Any survivors from our group, they're supposed to meet us there tomorrow. You and your girl, you want to join us. It goes down the night. I guess we best rest up then. He says it's time to go. <clears throat> no, we're gonna be moving fast, okay? So no matter what, you stick to me like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good, good. All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all stay close, okay? You tried this before? Uh, yeah. That's comforting. Relax, old man. I just hope you know the way. This way. Take him out quietly. Hey, I'll follow hey. you, Lee. How right. you doing? I was just trying to keep warm. How's it looking out there? They put down some infected. No sign of those tourists. You think they're still in the city? Yeah, they're still around. All right. <laughs> Like a ninja. Got him. Okay, everyone move up. Hey, you hear that? Click it. Yeah, I hear it, but I don't see shit. Oh. Hold on. There it is. There. Woo! Nailed it! Did you see that shit? Not bad. Oh.
Spread out. around out here. Well, look down there. You see him? He ain't over here either. Jesus. Another body. He's still here. Let's keep searching. building. One more down. He's still here. Let's keep searching. Where are you, you motherfuckers? <laughs>
see him? He ain't over here either. On your right. He's still here, man. He's searching. Well, nothing. See anything? Nothing here either. Let's keep searching. All right, we did it. Henry, give me a hand with this. All right. You ready? Oh, no. oh, shit. All right, come on. Go! Wait, wait, wait. Hey, they're over here! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Got him. Come on, everyone. Keep your eyes open. We ain't out of this mess yet. All right, check it out. We're good. Sam, let's go. All right, kid, come on. There you go. Come on. Oh, shit. Hurry, hurry. Okay, we gotta get him up. 
I'm sorry. We're leaving. What? What's this bullshit? Hey, now! What the fuck, Henry? Oh, shit. One more time. Punch it. We stick together. Joel, come on! We lost one! We got a tourist! Spread out. See that? What? What is it? allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just 
take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirt wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Shot. Count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that 
at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. And I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. To the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. To the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, 
I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Should I count? I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just 
take the original model of Henry and Sam, we built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. You know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam, we built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him, and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that 
at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again, it's the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. 
And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. To the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Shot. Count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just 
take the original model of Henry and Sam, we built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Shut down. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that 
at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. You know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam, we built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him, and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that, at the end of the day, is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there.
a remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. To the outside. So is that everything you hope for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side by side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? 
I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. He's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. He's got everything to do with that little girl. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I 
can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. To the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. You know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. 
let's do a side by side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again, is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station. There's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Shot. Count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side by side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again, is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station. There's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that 
at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about.
And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station. There's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Should I count? I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. 
the characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirt wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. Spread out. They might come through here. We lost one! We got a tourist! That was too close.
Did you hear something? Be careful. Hey, man, what you got? Yeah, shit is what I got. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, no. How the hell are you? or something. Let's get underneath it. Fucking open it! Go! They're gonna get away! bullets you have left they're gonna kill us what other choice do we have we jump no it's too high and you can't swim i'll boost you up you run past them you keep me afloat ellie no time to argue ellie <gasps> Henry! He's awake! Hey, you. We're alive. Okay. <laughs> See? What'd I tell you, huh? He's good. Everything's fine. <laughs> you know, Sam's the one who spotted you. You guys are taking quite a bit of water. What's wrong? Henry! Get back, hey, son! Hey, 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 hey. He's pissed, but he's not gonna do anything. You sure about that? Stop! Joel? He left us to die out there. No. You had a good chance of making it, and you did. Coming back for you meant putting him at risk. Stay back. If it was the other way around, would you have come back for us? I saved you. He saved me too. 
We would have drowned. It's fine, it's, I'm okay. You know, for what it's worth, I'm really glad we spotted you. Now, that radio tower, it's on the other side of this cliff. Okay? Place is gonna be full of supplies. You're gonna be really happy you didn't kill me. Hey, we're gonna search this area. See what we come up with. That was intense. You cool? Yeah. Let's go find that radio tower. Um, you trust me? Yeah, I do. Hey, don't worry about me. We'll find you, okay? You gotta believe me on this thing, all right? Sure. Maybe we can find something in that boat over there. Way ahead of you, kid. Keep your eyes peeled. It's a little bit different in the water. One step at a time. Can't go this way. For a second there, I thought you might shoot him. Yeah, I almost did. They're all right. I think it's good to have him around. I think you're right. <laughs> did everyone have boats back then? Yeah, I had a 60-foot yacht. Really? No. Sarcasm. 
Making progress. Hey, Ellie! I think we found something. Let's go see what it is. Hey, I bet this goes all the way through. Give me a hand with this. All right, same time. Come on, let's do it. Come on, kids, go! Which way? Joel, we should see what's over here. All right, we'll check this side out. Much of a choice. It's blocked. If you can get it open, I can crawl through and clear that door. <coughs> oh, yeesh. That is a big rat. See how we can pan out. Uh-uh. Gotta find a different way. 
Can we get out this way? No, nah, there's no way to reach that. Well, I can't swim. That makes sense. All right, Joel. How do we get across? I guess we gotta figure something out. Can't reach it.
Henry, give it a shot. All right. Go have a look. You keep an eye out. Let's go, Willie. Oh, there you go. That's smart.
can't wait to get out of this place. All right, see that generator still got some juice. Here goes nothing. <sighs> I gotta say, I'm impressed with you two. We're pros at this by now. Think there's people inside? Maybe. Are we really going in there? No other choice. <laughs> oh, it's a soundtrack. A what? It's a sort of alarm. I don't hear anything. And someone used to live here. Don't look like that's the case anymore. Who would stay in here? Mm -hmm. Someone who thought they could keep a place like this safe. forward. All we can do is hope there aren't any more of them. Doubtful, I know.
Joe Moranen has liked the stream. Shout out to my current viewer. Hello, Senya. Sobrang dilim dito. Madilim. Hey, you think that leads out? Could be. It's too hot for a post. Maybe there's another way to get there.
Yeah, I'm cool. That was me. I must have triggered some kind of safety gate or something. Henry, see if we can lift this. <laughs> Oh, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. It's like every time. <laughs> hey, this thing isn't budging, man. Just go. Get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move. You keep him safe. Go. Did you see that? Stay behind me. If I run, you run. Yeah. Do you see it? I see him.
to your left! You hear that? Infected! Joe, there's something over there. <laughs> There we go. Good job, kid. Yeah! <laughs> 
We're gonna keep going. You good?
You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. You know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, 
it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a machine over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station. There's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every... Shot. Count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles deform correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was the one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. 
All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station. There's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that, at the end of the day, is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself! How many close calls have we had? get in trouble down there you make every shot count i got this hope you know how to use that thing i've had some practice a remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was going to be compared not to the original, it was going to be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side-by-side -side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character that someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station, there's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game, and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl.
You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I got this. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. A remaster is really more of a tech art endeavor. This was remade from the ground up. No matter what we were making, it was gonna be compared not to the original, it was gonna be compared to the memory of the original. It became pretty clear that this is going to require more than just like a remastering approach. We really want to recreate this for the technology as opposed to putting a sheen over it. We have new tools that allow us to make better looking animation, improvements in character rigs and facial rigs. The characters were rebuilt. We didn't just take the original model of Henry and Sam. We built a new Henry and Sam. We only take what we have to. Let's do a side by side review. It would stop multiple times just to be like, oh my gosh, just look at that. Things that make like the shirts wrinkle, the muscles to form correctly, facial details add such a layer of richness and life to the character. As someone who wants to play this game again is the thing I am most excited about. The scene at the beginning of the game, that was one that terrified us to remake. When Joel cradles Sarah up to him and you see their cheeks smashed together, the tears streaming down the face, there's a physicality that we were unable to achieve the first time we made this. All the art has been rebuilt from scratch. A great example is in the Boston State House Museum. On the lower floor, there's some back rooms that in the original game were generic offices. Now there's like an art restoration station. There's busts of American colonial figures on the walls. We have a completely new AI core. Encounters will play out in a much more dynamic way. You might play it 10 different times and get 10 different results for how the combat went. All of that at the end of the day is in service of the storytelling. We want to be very faithful to the original experience, to be very true to what fans love about that game and give them the best version of this game possible. So why'd you leave Boston? been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. He's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. And in this world, that's good for one thing. Get you killed.
Is that Ellie? Come on. Shout out to Aram Tagura. Thank you for logging my stream. Shout out to you. Wait, now we're gonna see Ellie. Make it fast. Come on, Sam. You're not staying in here. What about you? I'll be fine. Come on. Go. Get ready. Go. Share. Look at this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Thanks for the warning on the other side, guys. So where's this tower? We're close. Come on, let's go. How you doing, little man? That was a close one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not one of our finest moments, but we made it out. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Yep, what I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. 
What about you? How you holding up? Business as usual, right? When I was with Henry, I took out a couple of infected by myself. You'd be proud. Yeah. this place like without infected? I can't even imagine it. back there, huh? Oh, yeah. Totally. How did you two end up together? Oh, I... A friend of mine, Marlene, asked him to take me to the Fireflies. You seem to get along well. Yeah, well... Now I just boss him around. <laughs> Isn't that right, Joel? Just five when the cordyceps hit. My memory's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. <sighs> Time to go to work. What is this? Oh, this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel.
Oh, there we go. Two months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? <laughs> Shit, I barely remember yesterday. Fireflies were here. Yeah, by the looks of it. How are we gonna find them? I know a guy. A brother, actually. He, he was a firefly. Last I heard, he was in Wyoming. We get there, we find him, we find the fireflies. What do you say, you in? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, man. You guys are killing me with your downer talk. It's joke book time. What is that? Just bear with me. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. If a dish towel could tell a joke, I think it would have a dry sense of humor. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I know, right? What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, I got a joke for you. Let's hear it. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? I don't know, why? Because then it will be a foot. <laughs> that is so dumb. I love it.
Is that comics he's been reading? Sam, be careful. Yeah, okay. I'll go first. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. All right, your turn. Okay. Just throw it. Yeah. Boosh. I am a natural. Luck. No, it wasn't. That was luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get out of here. You're getting cocky. Here we go. Horrible. All right. It's a tie. Uh, no, no. You, you clearly got destroyed. How did I clearly get destroyed? That's practically a tie. <laughs> yeah, okay. <sighs> it's a tie. Uh, no, no. You, you clearly... come a day where kids can just be kids again. Let's go. street right now i'll stay here before you start i need you guys to keep him busy i'm gonna go around and see if i can't get the angle on him okay be careful where'd you go you fucking chicken i see you <laughs>
Ronaldo. Christ. Come on, let's fucking find this guy already! Spread out! He's not here. I'm gonna find you, asshole!
Angelo Joseph Moreno has liked the stream. Thank you, AJ, for liking my stream. May sniper mo na tayo ngayon. Kasi mayroon tayong kalabang armored car. Yung. Sapun. Armored car, paano kaya ito? Ano pa ba? Ay, patok Ay, may armored car, run Armored car That was intense. All right, Sam. Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, Joel. Look at this. All right, we did it. We should move. All right. Hey. Sam. Henry. <laughs> Sam, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? I said I'm fine. Come on, come on! Let's move!
I'm still in here. Mm -hmm. Anybody hurt? Uh -oh. No, we're good. I think it's time we quit this place. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Dead serious. It was Tommy's birthday, and that's all he wanted to do is just rent two Harleys and drive cross country. Oh, man. I could die happy if I could just ride one around the block. <laughs> what was it like? It was good. It was real good. Good? Can, can you believe this guy? Come on, man, give me details. Describe it. <laughs> you know what? You two deserve a little privacy. No, no, Ellie, Ellie. This isn't just any regular motorcycle, OK? You get on that bad boy, you feel that engine? Nothing like it. Oh, yeah, how would you know? Seen it in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> I don't think anyone from my group is gonna show up. Yeah. Worst part about it all, explaining it to Sam. Well, it's safe to say those two have officially bonded. What are you doing? I'm taking stock of all the food we found today. I see. And how are we doing on canned peaches? Did Henry send you? No. Why would Henry send me? To make sure I'm not fucking up somehow. I'd say we all did pretty good back there. Especially you. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. Okay. Well, have a good night. How is it that you're never scared? Who says that I'm not? What are you scared of? Uh, let's see. Scorpions are pretty creepy. Uh, being by myself. I'm scared of ending up alone. What about you? Those things out there. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? Scared of that happening to me. Okay. First of all, we're a team now. Okay, we're gonna help each other out. And second, they might still look like people, but that person is not in there anymore. Henry says that they've moved on, that they're with their families, like in heaven. Do you think that's true? I go back and forth. I mean, I'd like to believe it. But you don't. I guess not. Yeah, me neither. Oh, all the serious talk, I almost forgot. There, if he doesn't know about it, can't take it away. All right. I'm pooped. I'll see you tomorrow. Smells good. Good morning. 
Where's Sam? I let him sleep in for once. Oh. Well, if you want him to join us, you can go wake his ass up. Okay. Sam? <laughs> Sam! What the hell? <laughs> Shit, he's turning! <laughs> That's my fucking brother! <laughs> Screw it! <laughs> Shit! Really? Are you all right? Uh -huh. Oh my god. Sam? Oh no. Sam? Henry? <gasps> Henry, stay there. Henry? Oh, what have you done? <laughs> I'm gonna get that gun from me, okay? Oh, okay, okay, easy. This is your fault. This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Henry, no! <laughs> Jackson County. Means we're close to Jackson City, right? Should be more than a few miles. You ready to see dear old brother? I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling.
Should we get a move on or hang out here some more? So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, I've never been this close. It's the outside. So is that everything you hoped for? Can't be any worse out there. Can it? <laughs> 